as we are in the month of Elo, the month preceding Rosh Hashanah, the new year, and Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, you will notice that in our liturgy, in the prayers that we say, the term Melech, King, referring to God as King, is invoked and is emphasized much more than throughout the year. Now, how does it make you feel whenever you think about Hashem being the king of the world or a king over you? Does it give you imagery of a ruthless king, God forbid? Or a king that is all-powerful and that creates a sense of awe and distance from his subjects, closeted, so to speak, in the palace? Well, I'll tell you, for me, whenever I would read in our prayers, Melech Olam, King of the Universe, I never felt a sense of closeness. It was always a sense of, Hashem is this powerful king that is ruling over me. And it always created a feeling of distance and perhaps even of fear, which I guess, perhaps, is the intention of referring to God as king. However, a few years ago, I heard a wonderful teaching that describes the idea of God being king in a different way. Of course, God is not physical, and therefore any physical attributes of a king are not relevant necessarily to God. But when we, re in when we refer to God as king, what we are suggesting is as follows. But first, what is the difference between a king and a president? The President of the United States is perhaps the most powerful individual in the world. However, if the President came to your door and wanted to enter your own home, you have the full right and authority to say, excuse me, this is my home and you are not invited. However, if a king came to your door, you do not have any authority to deny entry to a king. The king has full rulership and full authority to go anywhere that he would like in his country. And if the king came into your home and wanted to change you to change your chairs or anything else in your home, you were forced to do it. And that is perhaps why we don't have very many kings anymore that have that power, because that power was abused. But the idea is that a king, every single detail and every single inch in his country is the king's business. And therefore, when we're thinking about Hashem as king, what we are actually invoking, what we're trying to acknowledge, is that every single moment in my life, in every single place in the world, and everywhere I go, and everything I do, God is there, and it's God's business. God cares about every single moment. God cares about every single feeling that I have. God cares, and it's God's business, every step that I take. And therefore, this is a very powerful idea about acknowledging our relationship with Hashem. And we can focus on the distance that the imagery of king creates in our mind, but there's another focus that we can have, and that is how God is there with us and cares about every single moment, every single feeling. Everything that we are doing matters to God, and God wants the best for us in every single area of our life. So perhaps as we're getting ready for Rosh Hashanah, this is a time to reflect upon which areas of my life do I not necessarily feel God's presence. And now to try and bring awareness to myself that that is where God is as well.